I've noticed that some of you are just placing them on. You want to push the caps. Right now, on the streaming service HBO Max, there is a very particular reunion that has everyone talking. Specifically, the Friends reunion. This reunion brings together the six main characters of one of the most beloved sitcoms of all time to talk about why it was fun, what memories they had, and how they missed one another. And with a reunion like that, it's important to go and look at each friend and see just how they did in life post-friends. Which, for actress Courtney Cox, has been an interesting thing indeed. Allow us to show you Courtney Cox, then and now. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Early Life Naturally, Cox didn't start her life famous. She had to get to that part. Cox was born and raised in Birmingham, Alabama. She is the daughter of businessman Richard Lewis Cox and Courtney Copeland. Cox has two older sisters, Virginia and Dorothy, and an older brother, Richard Jr. Her parents divorced in 1974, and her mother then married businessman Hunter Copeland, uncle to music promoter and business manager Ian Copeland, and the police drummer Stuart Copeland. After graduating from Mountain Brook High School, Cox left for Mount Vernon College in Washington, D.C., now part of George Washington University, but did not complete her architecture course, opting instead to pursue a career in modeling and acting. Even from a young age, she knew she wanted to go and be in entertainment, and luckily for her, that decision would prove to be very fruitful indeed. Her earliest roles. A lot of people only associate people with their most famous roles, and rarely comprehend that sometimes they had to go and do whatever it took in terms of getting smaller bit parts in order to get those famous roles. And starting out, that's what Courtney Cox had to do. Cox appeared in the 1984 music video for Bruce Springsteen's Dancing in the Dark, as the young woman pulled on stage at the St. Paul Civic Center to dance with Springsteen. Her early television work included a starring role as Gloria DiNallo in the short-lived NBC science fiction fantasy series Misfits of Science, 1985, and guest starring roles in the ABC comedy drama series The Love Boat, 1986, and the CBS crime drama series Murder, she wrote, 1986. She later had a recurring role as Lauren Miller, the girlfriend of Michael J. Fox's character, Alex P. Keaton, in the NBC comedy series Family Ties, from 1987 to 1989. So right off the bat, she was honestly doing well in certain ways. Though not everything was a success, such as her being in the Masters of the Universe movie, which was terrible, or being in another short-lived sitcom in The Trouble with Larry, However, she did get to be in some landmark roles pre-Friends, including being a co-star of Ace Ventura Pet Detective, and having a key guest starring role in an episode of Seinfeld. But her time would come not just in Friends, but in a movie franchise as well. Friends and Scream By the time 1994 came around, the show Friends was being cast for, and Courtney Cox went to go and apply for the role of Rachel Green. Yes, that's right. The heads of the show at first didn't want her to be the character she was destined for at first. Rather, they thought she would be a better Rachel, and that Janine Garofalo, a well-known comedian, would be Monica. However, she was indeed cast as Monica Geller, and history would be made as a result. Because Monica, whom Courtney Cox personally liked better than Rachel when the casting was being done, had a lot of depth to her, and the character's struggles with childhood obesity, challenges with romantic relationships, and complicated relationship with her mother would eventually become popular staples of the show. Boy, I know they say that you can't change your parents. Boy, if you could. And obviously, the show was a major success. So much so that at one of its peaks, Cox and her female co-stars were the highest paid women in Hollywood, getting $1 million per episode. And because of how popular the show is to this day, all of the Friends cast get about $20 million in residuals. Believe it. But not long after Friends came around and her fame cemented, she was able to get another key role that would define her career in certain ways. She was cast as Gail Weathers, a reporter in the movie Scream. Yep, and she would be a part of the first three Scream movies 
and their returns in recent years. Scream is one of the most popular of the horror franchises, and many critics praised Cox for her portrayal of Weathers in the movie. So between her TV success and her movie success during the 90s, Cox was easily one of the most high-profile and beloved women in Hollywood and the world at large. Post Friends Sadly, not unlike many of the friends not named Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox did indeed struggle a bit to get on her feet post Friends. For example, bad timing in terms of a pregnancy led to her not getting a role on a hit ABC series in Desperate Housewives. Terry Hatcher got the part instead of her, ironically enough. She was in a couple of failed movies or had cameos in films like the remake of The Longest Yard, but nothing too big. She went and starred in her own series called Dirt on FX, with Cox playing a tabloid editor. And while it was hyped up, it only lasted two seasons. However, her luck would go and change a bit with the arrival of another sitcom for her to have fun with. Cougar Town As Cox made it to 2009, she found herself at ABC for a series known as Cougar Town. In it, she played a 40-year-old mom who had just become single for the first time in a long time and was determined to go and enjoy new life experiences. The reason that this was Cox's biggest success post Friends is twofold. First and foremost, it went on for six seasons and had 102 episodes, which most people would agree is a pretty nice run for a sitcom by any measure. The second reason, and just as important of a reason, was that Cox was nominated during the show's run for her acting. She was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for Best Actress, Television Series, Musical, or Comedy. While she didn't get it, that doesn't sour the fact that she was nominated, and that is a huge honor. It also helped solidify that she could truly be more than just Monica Geller. Directing and Producing Cox made her directorial debut and had a cameo appearance in a lifetime television drama film, Tall Hot Blonde, which premiered on the network on June 23, 2012. In 2014, Cox directed and produced the black comedy film Just Before I Go, starring Sean William Scott and Alicia Cuthbert. The film premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival on April 24, 2014 and it was released in select theaters on April 24, 2015. From 2014 to 2017, she executive produced the syndicated game show Celebrity Name Game, hosted by Craig Ferguson. It ended after three seasons. The series earned her a nomination for the Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Game Show. What this shows is that, like a lot of Hollywood stars, they don't mind going behind the camera in order to get their own visions out of their head or trying to help others make shows better. And clearly, she enjoys doing that kind of thing, as she continues to do things just like that today. Facebook Watch and More As for what she's been doing more recently, she created a show on Facebook Watch, believe it or not, called Nine Months with Courtney Cox, where she brings in people from across the country of various race, religion, and class as they self-document their nine-month journey of pregnancy. A very interesting thing to talk about, though no doubt something people enjoyed watching for the interesting content. And of course, she'll be returning once again to the Scream franchise for Scream 5, which is already being touted as a highly anticipated movie, as well as a new beginning for the franchise. And no doubt Cox is going to love being back in the reporter shoes of Gail Weathers once again. Cox's Legacy So how will people remember Courtney Cox overall? Well, not so ironically, most will remember her for being Monica Geller. That's not an insult. It's just the fact that she did that character so well for so many years that people grew attached to her as that role. She did prove that she was more than just that character via Scream and Cougar Town. But when you mention Courtney Cox, you honestly connect with friends first in your mind, don't you? So while her career may not have reached the heights of some of her co-stars, there is one truth that is undeniable. Friends absolutely made her, and still makes her, filthy rich. There you have it, Courtney Cox, then and now.